Greg Nibbler. This is Digital Trends Live. It is now time for Awesome Tech. You can't buy yet where our own Drew Prindle scours the internet for some of the best, strangest, and awesomest crowdfunding campaigns that he can find. Drew is joining us right now. Hello, Drew. What should we start off with here for this segment? Let's talk about uh, the camp and gear, the Pinnacle Pro, uh, this amazing modern high-performance stove. Just because it's summer, it's camping season, I think this is something that people are going to be particularly interested in just because of the time of year that we're in right now. But this thing is amazing. So you remember those those kind of dumpy, like Coleman suitcase stoves that are still out there for some reason? I exactly have one of those that I used this weekend and thought, this thing is way too old for me to be using. So this is perfect exactly. timing. So this is that, but on steroids. It's basically like if Apple took that and redesigned it and made it amazing. It's from this company, GSI Outdoors. They're from Spokane, Washington. They make really, really good stoves. And this is their first kind of like bigger camp stove thing. Um, it's, it's amazing. So first of all, it's super slim. Uh, it's only like 1.4 inches thick. Uh, so it'll fit in your trunk really wow. easily. It won't take up a ton of space. It's really lightweight as well. Um, but despite that, it also is like crazy high performance. They put these really great burners in it that I feel like the uh, the trick with uh, camp stoves is they're either good at simmering or they're good at boiling. And they're not, you kind of can't really have both. It's either like, it's just to boil water and that's all this thing does, or it's kind of a stove and it's not really good at boiling water quickly. They put like, these amazing 11,000 BTU burners on there and it can kind of do whatever you need it to. Um, it's also got these nifty cutouts so that the pan, you can swivel it and the the, uh, the arm doesn't hit there. So yeah, it's really just a really well thought out, nice. well-designed camp stove. Yeah, this thing actually looks awesome. So it's, um, and GSI, I am aware of that company there. They are a good, uh, solid company. Um, let's see, so it's got 23 days to go. It's well overfunded, so everybody wants one. I think everybody is camping a lot more this this summer for some reason, Probably. some weird reason. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 175 bucks. That's that's not bad. Yeah, it's a that's a little steep, but honestly, something like this, it's going to be much more convenient, much nicer to use than your Coleman camp stove, and it'll probably last for quite a long time. So it's an investment in nicer gear, and you're never going to regret that. Yeah, a hundred percent. All right, going on from that one, what's the next one you want to hit? All right, we, we got to talk about the Wonder Spray, um, it's, which is such a we hilarious name. It's it's <laughs> so they call this thing a portable butt shower, which is the most ridiculous. I mean, they just get right to the point. Yeah, it's it's basically a portable bidet, but for some reason they felt compelled to call it a butt shower. <laughs> but really, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a little like canister that you can fill up with water and it like pressurizes it, and you carry it around, and then then uh, when it's time. Uh, to go to the bathroom and clean up, you just, uh, I guess, stick this thing between your legs and hit the button and uh, hope that your aim is good and it'll bidet you up, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess the cool thing about this is that it's so small that um, you can just put it in, like, a purse or something like that. Um, I'm, as a guy, though, I don't know if I'm you can really get the... away with carrying this around in your, like, back pocket. <laughs> You'd probably have to toss it in, like, yeah. a backpack or something. It's not exactly the most discreet thing, I'm... but it is smaller than um, the previous ones that I've seen of this idea. I'm thinking of this going going back to the time when we used to, you know, travel by airplane. Um, just going through airport security with this thing and explaining that, no, that's okay, officer. That's my, my portable butt shower. That's what I've got there. All right, so you've got, <laughs> you've got this. This has been... It was a $25,000 goal. It's been funded to $68,000. <laughs> so if you want to get one, it is on there. I mean, technologically speaking, it's, it's, that's pretty great. So um, people can back that one on there. <laughs> Going from that, let's go to our last one uh, that we've got here. Uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and introduce this one here for us. Okay, so this one, they, they're called cast caps. And basically what they do is they eliminate the need for you to use measuring spoons when you're cooking and baking. So you know the old routine, whenever you know you read the recipe, it's a quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever, and you bust out that like keychain of measuring spoons and fiddle with them, and then you gotta clean yes. them up and everything. And sometimes they don't fit in a jar, sometimes they're just like not super convenient, right? Um, so this this device is a cap that automatically measures out um, whatever measurement you're looking for, teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever. Um, just by you twisting the cap. So all you do is push the little selector um, to what measurement you want, twist the cap, it meters out that much and dumps it straight into whatever you're cooking with. So 
no need for a measuring spoon, which is amazing. It's also not like there's no electronics in this. It's all just by virtue of the design of the cap itself. Um, so you don't have to worry about batteries or syncing with an app or anything like that. It's just a really neat design that makes it more convenient. Now, the only problem is they're kind of on the spendy side. So in order to like outfit every single one of um, your spice shakers in your kitchen, it would probably cost you like multiple hundreds of dollars. But I think you could probably get away okay. with just putting it on like the main spices that you use or the ones that you use in like heaping amounts to like bake with. Yeah, 24 bucks a pop. That is... I. I I, I also get annoyed with all of those spoons, so I can understand that. I would have to get really annoyed to go for that far. But yeah, buy one and use it on all of them. I mean, just take it off and pop it on the other ones. That's, that's probably what I would do too. <laughs> and then you'd have so, garlic flavored uh, <laughs> sugar in the, or something like that. As much as I cook, it wouldn't matter anyway, um, <laughs> which is not at all. So, uh, so going, going from there, again, awesome tech you can't buy yet. We've got all of these up there on our site that you can go and take a look at. It seriously is a lot of fun. If you want to spend some time today, just go through and take a look at all this stuff that Drew finds online. Some of them are really cool. I do kind of want the stove. I'm going to pass on the second one. Um, maybe I'll get the spice there. But, uh, but going from there, all right, Drew Prindle, as always, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, see you around.